Hi, my name is Brandon Howell, Product Marketing Manager for Intersil's Digital Power Products. In this video, we'll be talking about the development platforms available for our new ISL 68200 and 68201 hybrid digital controllers. We have three demo boards available to support these products. The ISL 68200 includes the 68200 with a 5x6 millimeter FET power stage. The ISL 68201 Demo 1Z includes our ISL 99140 6x6 Dr. Moss. We also have a compact ISL 68201 featuring a 5x5 millimeter Dr. Moss power stage in a 13x13 13 millimeter area. After you selected your demo board platform of choice, our Power Navigator software can be downloaded from our website and used to interface with the demo board. In this video, I'll run through an example of Power Navigator when used with our ISL 68200 Demo 1Z board. On the screen here, I'm showing our Power Navigator software connected to our ISL 68200 demo board. The software has gone through and scanned and found the demo board on our PM bus interface. By clicking the Start button, it'll take us to the Power Navigator launch page. On the launch page, we have the power map, which shows the ISL 68200 demo board, the monitor view, which shows the real-time telemetry, including the output voltage, the input voltage, the switching frequency, the temperature, and the output current. If I double-click on the ISL 68200 icon on the power map, It'll launch me into the device rail inspector window. Rail inspector is used as both a design tool and a configuration tool for our 68200 demo board platform. On the left hand side is a navigation window that guides you through the design of an ISL 68200 controller. The design requirements tab will ask you for the main requirements for your design. This includes the input voltage, the output voltage, and the load current. In this design example, we have a 12 volt input with a one volt output. The VL tolerance is 5%. The VL ripple tolerance is 1% or 10 millivolts. And the max load current is 30 amps. The max load step is assumed to be one half of the max load current or 15 amps. And the overcurrent trip point is 125% of the max load current or 37.5 amps. On the next screen, we walk you through component selection. This screen shows the power stage that is used with the ISL 68200 demo board. By clicking on each component, you can enter the device name, the quantity, and all the device parasitics that are associated with it. In this case, this is the upper MOSFET. I can click through and look at the lower MOSFET, the output inductor, and the output capacitors. You can also select the switching frequency for your design, in this case, 400 kilohertz. As you make design decisions, the inductor ripple current and the peak full load current are automatically calculated for you. On the next page, we generate a full efficiency curve based on the components you selected and the input voltage, the output voltage, and switching frequency. In this design case, we have a 12 volt in to one volt out with a peak efficiency of 91.4% and a full load efficiency of 89.3%. You can make on-the-fly design decisions, such as changing the switching frequency, and see what effect that has on the overall efficiency. For example, if I adjust the switching frequency from 400 kilohertz to 300 kilohertz, I'll notice an improvement in my peak and full load efficiency at the cost of overall design size and V-out ripple. The next page walks you through the overcurrent settings for the device. In this case, we have a desired overcurrent trip point of 37.5 amps. Power Navigator automatically calculates the correct resistor values to use to set this overcurrent trip point, as displayed here. On this page, we look at the four configuration pins that are used to set up the 68200. The Program 1 pin is used to set the output voltage. The Program 2 is used to set PFM, or light load efficiency, operation on or off, temperature compensation, and your PM bus address. Program 3 sets your overcurrent retry or latch off option, your switching frequency, your R4 control loop gain, and an optional 25 kilohertz clamp for light load efficiency. Program 4 sets up your soft start rate, another R4 gain parameter, 
and your AV multiplier. As I make changes in real time, Power Navigator automatically calculates what the correct resistors um, are needed to set those values on each pin. The next page is a design verification page. On this page, we generate a Bode plot and output impedance plot of your design. The Bode plot can be used to check for regulator stability, and the output impedance plot can be used to check for overall design goals with respect to transient performance. The final page shows a schematic that is fully generated for your design. The schematic includes the MOSFETs, the output inductor, and output capacitors you've selected, as well as the resistor values needed for each of the four configuration pins. This schematic matches our demo board reference schematic and can be used to start your design. So in the process of five minutes, we've gone through and made a full design for an ISL 68200 controller using our Power Navigator design software. This showcases the ease of use and just how simple it is to go from design requirements to a full design with our new controller family. For more information, visit www.intersil.com and for Power Navigator information, visit www.intersil.com slash Power Navigator.